Yours truly doesn't indulge himself in the feminine world of pulchritude as often as he should. How do you like those for big words? Well, we offer a real feast tonight. A bevy of delightful models displaying elegant bridal gowns of Maylene's Bridal Salon. And here to present this glamour is Maylene Scott herself. Maylene, I'm delighted. Thank you. Maylene, I'm about to parade down the aisle myself. Should I direct my bride to a, a bridal salon? Only Maylene's. Only Maylene's. Well, what, what is a bridal salon? What does it offer over another particular type of place? Well, what you can get, it's a specialty shop. Yes. And when you're um, shopping for something so special as a wedding day, you need a person that really has the expertise to put it all together without any flaws. And the only way you can do that without flaws is starting early. Hmm. Within a year, six months, Many times girls don't have that long. They don't give them that long because they maybe six months. Mm -hmm. But we have no problem getting a girl ready for her wedding in that length of time. That's the girls that normally enjoy the wedding. Of course, we have weddings that are put together in a very short time. I think my shortest one was about five days. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but we wouldn't encourage that at all. But it happens once in a while due to circumstances. This one bride was in the service, and Uncle Sam just wouldn't let it go. <laughs> let mm. me ask you, you know in the late 60s it was fashionable to have, oh, for a back, lack of a better term, creative weddings. Um, people getting married in underwear, outdoors, etc. Would you say the traditional style formal wedding is now coming back into Definitely. fashion again? Definitely coming back, and larger weddings, more formal and larger. Hmm. Well, uh, let's um, introduce the, um, the models, and uh, okay. looking forward to seeing some of these fashions. All righty. Here comes Jane, wearing a white chiffonette with embroidered lace yoke, scallop design, hemline, with matching gauntlets, which is kind of new this year. As then with a beautiful picture hat to complete her ensemble. This is another daughter, Barbara, who's wearing a matching bridesmaid to coordinate with the wedding gown in a beautiful green with the V-neck scallop flounced around the neckline which falls just the same as the bride gown. Is there still a hang-up about the color white? Is white still the symbol of purity? <laughs> Bob, I'm glad you asked that. We here in, in America has always been brainwashed that white means purity. But really the history of wedding gowns in white do not mean that at all. Of course, you'd have a hard time talking that out of some people's mind, and I don't attempt to do it. I see. Everyone has to dress in what they feel good in. White was taken off of the Greeks by making, um, by using white for the any happy occasion. So that's why we have white wedding gowns here in America. Jude is wearing a beautiful chiffre embroidered um, on English neck with the triple lace ruffles around the neck. This gown is worn also off the shoulder look. For your wedding reception, you can kind of let it down and, and live it up for the evening. Thank you, Judy. Very nice. Barbara's wearing what we call the, a gown from the Encore group. This is a word for second time around. And of course, this is a beautiful um, embroidered English net dress designed by Mira Hamburger which runs about um, $284. Thank you, Barbara. Uh, what about head, head pieces? Are they in vogue now? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Lorraine is wearing a beautiful handkerchief look, chiffon, and this, too, comes off the shoulder if the girl pre prefer to wear it down. Very pretty belted with a matching hat. And this comes in a variety of colors. Thank you, Lorraine. Charles is wearing a beautiful celestial knit with your modif at the waistline with a draped look on the side. This has a chiffon little jacket type that ties on the side. It's different than the regular cape that you've seen a lot of. This gown can be used as a bridesmaid's dress or a young mother's dress and it comes in a variety of colors designed by Mendocino. Price $79. Frances, my sister who works with me, is wearing a beautiful 
huckleberry chiffon with white little dot about in it with the um, ruffles going down this side and around the hemline. The wrap look very pretty for summer, a spring mother's dress. Oh, and it's a type of dress can be worn after the wedding, which is very practical. Bridal fashions, you know, seem to have gone through many phases. Now, what we have seen is not what I would consider to be traditional in the way of, of bridal fashions. No, not really. But what we're going to see coming up is going to be more traditional. I see. More formal. Oh, well. This, Judy's wearing a beautiful yellow voile dress with your ruffle hemline and around the neckline. This is designed by Bielefkoff. Runs $74. Very nice. Isn't that pretty? Yes. Very pretty in spring. Comes in a variety of colors. Jane is wearing a beautiful crystal organza designed by Pachoni. This is called the Champagne Collection. That is the best. Beautiful uh, re-embroidered L'Enfant um, lace trimmed with the pearls and rhinestones with your Victorian neckline, bishop sleeve. Beautiful. That's the traditional wedding dress I had in mind. <laughs> That's a beautiful gown. It really is. What's the cost of your typical gown? Well, the average bridal gown, I'd say the girl spends around $450, $350 to $450, five, but they can run up to 1000 really. Oh, my gosh. Depends on the girl's budget and what she likes to put in for herself. And this will be our final finale oh. of all the brides. All the ladies together. All the ladies together. Beautiful picture of mm. brides and mothers, bridesmaids and brides. Where is your salon located? 803 Brandywine Boulevard mm -hmm. in Belfont area. It's oh, just good. north of Wilmington, about three blocks off the Philadelphia Pike. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much for coming on our show. and well, uh, thank you for inviting us. I hope you'll have an opportunity to come back again. Sure, I look forward to that. Good. For the largest selection of bridal gowns and accessories, stop in at Maylene's Bridal Fashion at 803 Brandywine Boulevard. Maylene's also features many lovely styles of bridesmaids' gowns and mother's dresses to fit any size or any budget. Maylene's has been providing quality service as a family business for many years. Maylene's expertise will get you to the church on time. Selection, friendly, courteous service, reasonable prices makes Maylene's Bridal Fashions your one-stop bridal shop.